we got up at four in the morning and we had to have breakfast ready for six whenever they started through the line. And then it ran until like five in the afternoon. And then we were off from five until the next morning. And then we made breakfast. Then the next shift would come down and take over the galley. The hours were long. We were young then and we thought, oh, the Navy was going to be fun. Well, then we end up in a galley and sweating and 110 degree temperatures, you know, so it wasn't what we thought it was going to be. We'd get up in the morning and uh, we would uh, go to the shop first and we would get what the, uh, what the chief had, what they call a Lodex, I think was the name of it, and he would have everything that we would load that day. Uh, the, every mission had different armament on those planes. We, we would load a hop, send it out, uh, bring this one back, load this one, send it off, bring this one back. We did that for 12, 12 hours. We were really, really in good shape after about two or three months. The ship's plot when it's underway has to be kept 24-7. So you would have these charts laid out and essentially what you were doing is plotting where you were going and, uh, along uh, the, the, the route that you were on. But, but what you were doing in the plot watch is essentially maintaining where the ship was. Now you say, well, yeah, it's important you know. Well, it's particularly important you know it when you're doing flight ops. The people who always wanted to know exactly where we were um, were the guys in Combat Information Center and also the Air Boss. They always wanted to know exactly where we were because you had to be able to relay that to the pilots who were navigating or trying to get back, back to the ship. We had sick bay and sick call every morning, okay? And um, one of the things in sick bay uh, is to weed out the real things from the fabricated things. And we had some real things. I can remember the son of an admiral who successfully gave me pneumonia by coughing in my face every morning. But we had the usual run-of-the-mill kind of things that young guys can get. My primary duty was, as I said, the legal officer of the Intrepid. I was the only uh, attorney. We had an awful lot of young men separated from young wives who waved to them and blew kisses to them when Intrepid left Norfolk. The first time the cod landed with mail call, there were divorce papers. It's devastating, and I've counseled with lots of young sailors, some who contemplated suicide. It's a very difficult thing. I was on an EA-1F Sky Raider. It's a, uh, a propeller-driven aircraft. I was in a squadron that jammed the radar. We did ECM electronic countermeasures. We had a pilot, a navigator, and two crew members, and uh, I was one of the crew members. Um, we were very conscious of our brothers on the ground in Vietnam, the, the Marines and the Army, and they were getting their butts kicked on the ground.